All right, let's work on a static problem. Uh, knowing that the tension in the wire BD is 1300 newtons, determine the reaction at the fixed support at point C right here uh, of the frame shown in this picture. We also know that we have a 750 newton force here and a 450 newton force over there. We also have some distance measurements on this picture, which will be pretty handy as we go along. Now, first thing, let's get to work and, a, and create a free body diagram from our, for our frame. Uh, you can see it right here. This is the frame. We can see the forces that we had. 750 newtons, 450 newtons, and the 1300 newton force in the wire that's going between B and D. Down here we have our point C. Now, we have the forces, but the free body diagram is not complete. Let's draw up what do we have here. This is a fixed support, not a pin support, a fixed support. So, we have reaction in the X and Y direction. I marked my axes right here. Alright, this is my CX reaction in the X direction, and I'm going to mark my CY upwards. Since I don't know which directions these two will be going, I'm going to mark them in a positive direction. I'm going to assume they are in that direction, and if I was wrong, I assumed wrong, our answer will come as a negative value. Now, let me mark my CY. There it is. And... Now, since it's a fixed uh, support, that means we not just have X and Y reactions, we also have a moment. And there you have it. I'm going to call it MC for moment at point C. And since, again, I don't know which direction is it going to be going, I'm just going to assume in the positive direction. Here's a little face that can help you remember. Uh, positive direction, negative direction. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, assume it in the positive direction. Now, what are the three things that we need to calculate in order to get our reaction at point C? We need to find forces, the sum of the forces in the X direction, sum of the forces in the Y direction, and the sum of the moments at our point C. Now, since we are working in X and Y direction, the way that I marked it right here, it is beneficial for us to break up this 1300 Newton force into its components in the X and Y direction. Okay, let's take a look at our very first calculation. Some of the X's, the forces in the X direction, equals zero. Now, all our forces that are acting in the X direction, let's sum them up and put them equal to zero. Bx is one of our force, the 450 newton, and Cx is our third one. Bx, we can calculate it if we use this triangle, right triangle, right here. I'm going to blow this area up a little bit so you can see it better. I'm going to use this triangle right here. I'm going to put it right here so I, we can see it better. Use the distances that we were given in the initial drawing. We can calculate our hypotenuse. Then let's get to work. Bx equals 1300 newtons times the cosine, which would be right here, this one, the adjacent over hypotenuse equals 500 newtons and we can go ahead and calculate by using the same triangle 1300 newtons times the sine which will be the opposite over hypotenuse is going to give us 1200 newtons all right now we can get back to our sum of the forces in the x direction and write it up as we thought he looked at it here, Bx is in the positive direction, minus 450, it's looking in the negative direction, plus Cx, we don't know its direction, we're assuming a plus here, 
equals zero, since we are doing the statics, nothing is moving, equals to zero, right? So for Cx, we get a Cx equals negative 50. Now this negative, all that it means is that our Cx, we assume that it's going to be in this direction, but we were wrong, so basically it looks in the other direction, and it, uh, its magnitude is 50 newtons. Now, next step, some of the forces in the y direction. Same process as up here, some of the forces, but now in the y direction. I marked my axis as y going upward as positive, so negative 750 newtons, since this is pointing down, minus by, we have by going downwards from this triangle right here, we calculated it, so by 1200 newtons, but this is the magnitude, don't forget it, that it is pointing downwards in our free body diagram, so don't forget the negative by plus cy, what we need to calculate, which we assume to go upwards as positive, equals zero, plug in the values that we know, so for cy, and we get 1950 newtons, value is positive, so that means our assumption was correct, it is pointing upwards. Now, sum of the moments at point C equals zero, Let's add up all the moments that we are dealing with equals to zero. First, let's just go right away and put mark MC. That's our first for, uh, moment. Then let's add up all the forces that exert a moment on this frame. CX, CY do not exert any kind of moment on this frame since they go through the point that we are calculating at right here at C. So we're going to ignore those two. But we have 750 newtons, which is at a distance from C of 0.5 meters, right? This would be our extension of point C. And the distance from here to there is 0.5 meters. Positive direction. 450, again, positive direction. As we can see it, the distance is from here to here. 0.4 meters. Now we are need to add up whatever we have here at point B. We have BX exerting and BY exerting a moment on that point C. They are both pulling this way clockwise, so they're gonna be marked as negative. So BX calculated 500 newtons times 0 0.6. It's going this way, right? So the distance from our point C is the distance that we have right here, which would be 0 0.6. It was given right there. Now, BY is pulling it downwards, again clockwise. So the distance from point C, which one can I show it better? Uh, let's see, from here, pulling downwards, right? So from point C to here, is 0.15 meters. We know everything, the only unknown is MC, calculated, and we find negative 75 newton meters. Again, it's a negative value, that means we just assumed wrong. It is not this way, it is the opposite direction, the reaction, and the magnitude is 75 newton meters.